what's up guys welcome back to another flea market grab video i'm actually on my way to the flea market right now so if you guys are enjoying the videos please hit that like button it lets me know go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already and you guys do want to see more and drop a comment i try to respond to all the comments i can so let's go see what we can find this week So just like last week, I ended up buying another random box of stuff for 40 bucks or bag of stuff, I guess. It's all Sega Genesis stuff. So we're gonna go through this stuff together when we when I get home. And hopefully uh, 40 bucks wasn't too much. <laughs> and then also for 20 bucks, I got these uh, College Blue 17s. They have some cracking, but I'll go into more detail on those two when I get home. So I'm about to go back and see what else I can find. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. Today is Saturday, I went, I picked up a couple things, not a lot, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'll pick up back tomorrow when I go again. For five bucks, I picked up these three PS2 games. For a dollar, I got a loose copy of Crash Team Racing, which I really love this game and they're supposed to be remaking it again, I think. Looking forward to that for sure. A copy of Midnight Club Dub Edition Remix on the PS2. I put so many hours into this game growing up. Uh, so when I seen it, I wanted to go ahead and grab it just to throw in the collection. And then I got a copy of Wild Arms 3, which I've never actually played this one personally, but for only two bucks, so why not go ahead and give it a try? Looks all right. So I got those three for five bucks. Then as you guys saw, for $40, I got this bag of random Sega Genesis stuff. So we're gonna go through it right now and see if I got a good deal or if I got ripped off, so let's find out. So the first thing that's actually in here is this Game Genie manual. Uh, I guess these have like all the codes in it for the Game Genie, which is kind of cool. We got the Sega Genesis itself right here. This is the Model 2. Growing up, I had the Model 1 and the Model 3. I never had a Model 2 growing up, but these are the ones that I find the most of now. We got the power brick and we got the RF switch. You need those to even turn it on. Not seeing any controls in here, but I should have some other ones. I should have controls somewhere. There is some games, so let's go ahead and go through the games now. Here's the game genie that goes with that manual, so that's cool. Let's start off with these loose games first. There's six of them. The first one is Vector Man. I think this was supposed to be like another mascot for Sega, but it never took off, if I'm right on that. We got Sonic 2, which is my personal favorite Sonic game of all time. We got La Russa Baseball, I don't know. Streets of Rage, that's a classic right there. It's the first one. We got Sonic 1. We got a copy of Power Rangers the Movie. We got two in-box games, so let's go ahead and see what those are. So let's go ahead and get through the crappy ones. Uh, Caesar's Palace on the Genesis, Will of Fortune, and then John Madden, uh, 93, which it's not even in there. Now these next seven are actually pretty decent um, from what I'm seeing, if they're all in there anyway. The first one is Krusty Super Fun House. Cart only, no manual. Next we got Spider-Man with no manual. We got a complete copy of Sonic 2, so that's the second copy of Sonic 2 in here, but this one has the box and the manual. We got Quack Shot starring Donald Duck. This one doesn't have a manual either. We got Aladdin on the Genesis. No manual. I always prefer this one over the Super Nintendo one personally. We got a copy of Mortal Kombat, the version that you want, the Super Nintendo one that have the blood and stuff. And then we got a complete copy of Road Rash right here with the manual. So I got all of that for 40 bucks. I know Genesis stuff is not as popular as like Nintendo stuff, but uh, for 40 bucks, it's looking okay. It's pretty decent. So I'm happy with that, I guess. You guys let me know if that little lot was worth 40 bucks or not. And then I grabbed one pair of sneakers. This shoe is gonna have to be a restoration project, but I didn't wanna leave it, it being an OG Jordan. And that is the College Blue Jordan 17 right here. So the uppers overall are actually still pretty clean. They have the shroud still, which these never have the shrouds when you find them. So the issue with these 
is if you look real close on the midsole, you can see that it's cracked. Um, I'm not sure if these are wearable, like they might be, but I feel like if you wear these, they're gonna fall apart. These are a size 11 from 2001. And if you look on the inside, you can still see that the Jumpman is still fully intact in there. See right there. So besides the cracking on the midsoles, they're actually still pretty clean. He wanted $20 for them. I showed him the cracking and I told him that they might come apart if he could do better. I just went ahead and gave it to him. Um, Cause anytime I can buy these OG Jordans like this, uh, I usually grab them and then I sell them to somebody who wants to restore them and uh, try to save a pair of OGs. So there you go, we got the College Blue Jordan 17s from 2001 for 20 bucks. So that's the stuff I picked up today. Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow, continue this tomorrow, so let's go see what we can find. For these three, um, give me, let me see, come on, here, siete, let me siete. These things are size 16, but uh, couldn't leave them for what I got them for. Oh damn! All right guys, we're back with day number two of the pickup. So I ended up picking up one video game. We got Bushido Blade right here on the PS1. This is a game that I've always been interested in playing, but I've just never bought it or had it in my collection before. It is by Squaresoft, it's complete. And the disc is like brand new, no scratches at all. Ended up grabbing this for only five bucks. You saw he also had a copy of Ocarina of Time on the 64. But usually when he has those games, he usually wants like 20 to 25 for it, which is about what it's worth. So I didn't grab that, but I did get this black label copy of Bushido Blade. Ended up picking up three snapbacks. I got all three of these. All three are brand new with tags. I got them all three for $7. The first one is the Atlanta 1996 Olympic hat right here. As you can see, this one is by The Game. Still has all the tags on it. Wet band, extra clean, brand new with tags. It was actually the first one I found. Um, and it was like on top of the pile. So I was like, you know what? If she has this one, I should keep digging and I can maybe find some more, which I'm glad I did keep digging because as you can tell by the shape of it, underneath all the other ones, we got the 1996 Stanley Cup champion hat. You can see you got the Avalanche logo right there, 1996 Stanley Cup champions on the front. You got that logo, athletic logo right there on the side. In the back, you got the Western Eastern Conference champion, 1996. This one is also new with tags. So since this one was on the bottom, you can see it's kind of uh, misshapen, but I should be able to fix that pretty easily. And then the last one we got is the Super Bowl 30 snapback right here, by Logo 7. You just got the big Super Bowl 30 patch on the front. 
Sunday, January 28th, 1996. And I got all three of these for $7 total. Moving on, we got a copy of Sunset Overdrive on the Xbox One. Only reason I picked this game up is because it was only a dollar. Like, I don't even know if this game's worth anything, but I don't have it, so I went ahead and grabbed it for a buck. And then for $15, um, I ended up grabbing this Denver Nuggets champion jersey right here, number one. And on the back, you got Abdul Roth. If I'm pronouncing that right. Overall, the jersey is still in good shape. The only issue is if you can see right here on the A, you got a little bit of fading. And then also on the one, you got some cracking. It is a size 44, which is too small for me. I need a 48 in these. So I won't be keeping this one. This one be, will be for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, my website will be in the description as usual. Now, moving on to the kicks, I got three pairs of shoes to show you guys. First off, before I start and show you guys the shoes I picked up, you guys saw that I found those Lance Mountain uh, Blazers. So the plan was I was gonna buy them. I asked him how much he wanted for them. He said 15, but they were a little dirty and stuff as you guys saw. So I asked him if he would take 10. And as soon as I asked him if he would take 10, he just straight up told me no, and he grabbed them and walked off with them. I don't know about you guys, but that's not how you do business. I was more than willing to pay the $15 for them, you know? I was just trying to haggle a little bit. Um, but when he took them like that and walked off with them, I just straight up told him, you know what, dude, I was gonna give you 15 for them, but you can keep them, and then I walked off. So the moral of the story, guys, if you're selling, don't be a douchebag. <laughs> but anyway, I walked a couple booths down, and I found these for 10 bucks. It is the um, New Love Ones in a size 7 Y. So these are the newest ones, the 2017 pair. They have a little bit of like dirtiness on the midsole. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell from the video. Um, but the uppers are in pretty decent shape overall. As you can see, size 7 Y from 2017. I actually own them. You can see them right there. But honestly, I was thinking about getting rid of my pair because I don't really like the materials that they used on them. They feel really cheap and they feel like plastic. I was thinking about getting rid of my pair and then looking for an 05 pair, but I haven't decided yet. But I found these for 10 bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I know for some reason the mids, people are starting to buy the mids more now. I think it was start, all started when this shoe came back out. So I thought for 10 bucks I would go ahead and grab these even though they're a size 7 Y. Next up for 10 bucks, we got a pair of the Kobe 7 Cheetah print. I remember this was a shoe I wanted back in the days when these came out, but I just never got them. These are a size 10, they are my size, so I might keep these. I'm not 100% positive yet, they could use a little cleaning. You can see right there on the back, you got the cheetah print. Or not the cheetah print, the cheetah. And then on the bottoms, you can see the traction still there. The original plan was um, to keep these because I know they don't really go for too much. I've been in need of a new pair of basketball shoes and um, I thought for 10 bucks, why not take these? But then again, having a cheetah print shoe, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have this humongous monster of a shoe. This humongous size 16 Olive 9. So this is not the biggest shoe I've ever found at the flea market. Um, a while back, I found a pair of size 18 Jim Red 12s. Not the biggest, but these are up there, <laughs> size 16. If you guys do watch my videos, then you guys saw my video where I did my top five things I regret leaving. And a pair of these in my size was actually on that list. I'm still looking for a pair of these in my size, but I've yet to find them. So as you can see though, they're in really good shape. They're a little like, you could tell they were like in a bag with a bunch of stuff on top of them. So I'm gonna have to get them reshapened and everything. But there you got the tag size 16 from 2012. Here is the other one. These things are humongous. <laughs> Here's a size 10 Kobe's that I got. Look at this. <laughs> these things are like NBA size. I ended up grabbing these for only 20 bucks, so I couldn't leave them for that price. Especially with the condition that they're in, there's no cracking on the midsole or nothing. You guys can see. And I'm sure there's somebody out there with a monster foot looking for these. So those are the flea market pickups for this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please hit that like button if you did. Subscribe down below if you guys enjoyed and you guys want to see more. And drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments that I can. And I will see you guys next week with another one, so later.